Hey everyone, welcome to my channel techbeast.org. So today in today's topic we are going to see how to create a web connected lamp. Okay, so uh, so here I'm going to use a TP-Link smart bulb as you can see. Uh, so it's a smart bulb basically. So you can uh, we are going to toggle it on, toggle it off, and we are going to control its brightness. Okay. So in my previous video, uh, I just showed you how to toggle an LED, which is basically a hello world in the world of Internet of Things. So uh, let's keep learning, and in today's session, uh, we are going to uh, see something uh, exciting. Okay. So which is a real world object for is a smart bulb. So I hope you guys are uh, mm, excited to learn. So so let's get into the session and and so what are the prerequisites for this uh, project okay so you need a smart bulb basically it's a tp-link smart bulb i am having a uh, one uh, tp-link smart bulb which is lb100 okay the model so uh, basically it can be any uh, model uh, as long as uh, the api uh, supports so we are going to use two npm modules so uh, basically uh, for this project we are going to use a node.js so in order to uh, build a web server for the smart bulb okay so web thing it's one uh, npm module and tp link light bulb is another npm module which i'll show you guys in a while and basically what you need to do is you need to uh, set up your smart bulb and connect it to your uh, home wi-fi okay so so this uh, this process i'm not going to cover in this uh, session because there are a lot of tutorials and a lot of articles and a lot of stuffs are available so you can just go through and uh, just connect your smart bulb uh, to your home wi-fi so the moment you connect your uh, smart bulb to your home wi-fi your device will get an ip address so which you need to take note and we are going to uh, use this in our upcoming uh, session okay so you need to use this ip address in order to control your smart bulb so you are seeing a smart bulb in my hand the bulb is from tp-link and the model number is lb100 so why we are calling this bulb as a smart bulb okay so basically the bulb is having a web server running inside and i don't want to break it and show you guys <laughs> so okay so uh, so basically how this works is it's a it's a wi-fi based uh, smart bulb so you can uh, directly connect it to your home router okay using uh, any android or ios app provided by the tp link okay so uh, uh, so, so, so I'm, I'm not going to uh, set, set this bulb up because I have already connected this bulb in my home Wi-Fi because I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I just gave the link in the description. So uh, let's say if you have a smart bulb or TP-Link smart bulb, um, if you just bought me, you can follow the steps uh, in order to connect it to your home Wi-Fi. So the magic starts after you connect it to your home Wi-Fi. That's what we are going to see now. So let's get into the topic. Okay, so what are the steps we are going to do? So we are going to install Node.js and NPM in raspberry pi or your laptop so basically for this project you can use either your raspberry pi or your laptop so it can be anything so so today i'm going to use my laptop as i feel uh, more convenient uh, to work in my laptop okay then uh, the second step is we are going to clone the repository so i have already developed the uh, code for you guys and you can just uh, clone it to your local machine and you can just change the ip address of your light bulb and you are ready to go okay so then uh, there are two dependencies for this uh, uh, node.js application basically one is a web thing npm module and uh, other one is a tp link uh, if a light bulb npm module so basically we are going to combine uh, this uh, two modules and we are going to develop a, a simple uh, node.js application in order to control your uh, tp link from a uh, from a simple web page okay so so basically this web thing api uh, uh, web thing module what does um, it do is uh, it will just uh, make your uh, light bulb expose a web thing api so basically you can um, use the url to control your uh, smart bulb and tp link light bulb basically it provides uh, commands okay so commands to turn it on uh, and turn off your uh, light bulb and control the brightness and so many stuffs so basically we are going to combine this uh, both npm modules into our node.js code and we are going to uh, develop a simple application okay then the folder structure basically how it looks like is a web thing i find tp link is the main folder structure you can see the main code um, uh, uh, you can uh, is it residing inside this web thing i find light.js so you can find all the source code inside and index.html is basically a simple uh, html page which i have built in order to control the application so so if you if you like you can, if you are good in uh, developing front ends you can just use a lot of front end frameworks to develop your front end application then uh, you can find images folder where i have just uploaded a simple bulb uh, which the lb100 uh, smart bulbs image okay so now i'm in my console so what we need to do is uh, we need to clone the github repository so which you can go to uh, github.com slash and web thing 
uh, FunTP link. So just copy the GitHub link and you can clone it uh, to your local machine. Okay. So the moment you clone, uh, you'll uh, you'll be able to access all the files and folders uh, needed for this project. So I'm going to change the directory and I'm going to list down all the available files and folders inside. Okay. So in order to uh, explain it in a better way, I'm going to open the folder in my uh, uh, Visual Studio, so which you can uh, see. Okay, so here uh, you can see all the available uh, source codes for this project. So, so images got one uh, smart bulb image and uh, test got some test codes which you can uh, change your IP address of your bulb and you can just use to turn on and turn off. So basically, uh, this is how this NPM model works. Okay, then uh, let's take a look into the package.json file. So basically, uh, there are three dependencies, which is TP-Link light bulb. Uh, web thing and uh, unique ID, ID. Okay, so this is just a dependency of this uh, web thing uh, module. So then uh, let me uh, directly take you to the web thing, uh, the source code. So basically, what I have did here is uh, so let let's just make it simple. Okay, so what I have just did here is uh, uh, so you can uh, search the web thing in NPM modules, and I just uh, uh, open uh, one of the example here. Okay. So just go to example folder and you can see a single thing example. So basically what I did is I just copied this uh, entire uh, file and I have just used it here. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to use any of the actions or event. Okay, so just to make the uh, demo simple, I'm just going to use the property. So the property means uh, I, I can turn the device on and off. I can adjust the brightness. So these two are the properties of this smart bulb. So we are just going to do that. Okay. So, so here I have, then I have just uh, defined all my uh, uh, declarations. So I have imported all the necessary modules here. So I have in, uh, imported the TP-Link light bulb NPM module. So basically, uh, so what you need to do is you need to define your light and you need to put the IP address of your bulb. So in my case, my uh, bulb's IP address is 192.168.1.99. Okay. So, so then what you can do basically is uh, you can see the add property here so what i have just did is i just replace uh, the true value so basically what we are going doing here is uh, uh, whenever the uh, whenever you put a true value uh, the bulb will uh, turn on and whenever you put a false value the bulb will turn off okay so then there is another property we have added here which is uh, to control the brightness okay so what are the values you put here so i have just initialized it as zero so what are the values you put here so it can be anything from uh, 1 to 100 so you can uh, so this command what basically it will do is it will just control the brightness of your tp link bulb then we need to define our run server function so basically uh, you are going to execute your run server function here and the function uh, consists of your defining your uh, thing and you're calling your make thing function which we uh, which is defined here okay so then uh, you're running your uh, server in port 8888 okay so now uh, let me just uh, open my console and I'm going to install my uh, NPM modules. Okay, just go to the folder and uh, type NPM install, which will install all the dependencies. Okay, so in our case, it's just the web thing NPM module and TP-Link iPhone uh, light bulb. Okay, so so now what you can do is you can just uh, go to Node and just type web thing iPhone light dot JS. Okay, so when you click enter, so you can uh, basically it's uh, it will run your uh, uh, server so just go to your uh, browser and you can go to uh, localhost 8888 okay so what it will show you is it will show you the device description so this is a thing description okay so you can see the type as on off property so the on off is basically a boolean okay so the url is slash property slash on so you can do uh, all this kind of stuff you can get all the information about your device Okay, so now um, let me go to the Visual Studio to explain my index.html. So we have just created a simple web page, okay, so in order to uh, control your device. So now your device is uh, exposing a web thing API. So basically, this is the web thing API uh, we, were, we were just talking about. And we are going to make use of this web thing API to build a simple uh, HTML page to control your device. So that's so cool, right? So, so it's, I'm just going to use uh, jQuery, so it's very simple. So basically, uh, these are all some bodies. So the function which we need to take care of is, I have two buttons here. Okay, so one is to turn on the bulb, turn on button, and one is the off button. So uh, what you need to do is I have defined the ID as on button and one is uh, off button. So you can um, 
define your JavaScript function as uh, here. I'm going to run an Ajax, I'm going to make an Ajax call, which is basically a put request. So you can see HTTP local host 88 slash property slash on. Okay, so this property uh, will make the device uh, turn on and turn off. Okay, so we are going to pass the data uh, as true. So as I explained before, when you pass the value true uh, here, okay, so when you pass the value uh, true here, so this value. So when you pass the value true here, it will turn the bulb off. When the value, uh, when you pass the value false here, it will turn the bulb off. So we are just be, uh, basically going to do that. So turn on, we are going to pass the value true, and to turn off, we are going to pass the value false. And then to control the brightness, uh, we are just going to use the same put request. Uh, then we are going to uh, use the value. So we are just basically using a simple slider. Okay, so the slider uh, minimum range is one and maximum is hundred. So you can just slide the a slider in order to control its value so basically this uh, brightness value uh, we are just passing it so in order to uh, make a put request so this uh, uh, put request as you can see here okay so the brightness value so this is the value which we are going to uh, control so now just go to your browser and open this uh, index.html file you will see this um, simple web page which we can use to uh, turn on your bulb and turn off your bulb and you can control its brightness so now if I click the bulb turn on, you can see the bulb turning on. Uh, if I click turn off, you can see the bulb turning off. And I can also control its brightness. I can increase the brightness, I can decrease the brightness. Okay, so you can see all the values in the terminal. So when we turn on, you can see the value as true. When we turn off, you can see the value as true. When we control the brightness, you can see all the values. Okay, so that's how uh, simple uh, this web page is. So you can uh, use to control and monitor your devices. Okay. Thanks for watching guys so if you like my channel subscribe it so so let's make technology easy pc for everyone and thank you have a good day